Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sanitario. I hope everyone is well. Uh, I have a lot of readings to do in a very short time to do it, so I'm just going to get it going. This reading will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the first half of June. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. We're just here to have a good time, right? Okay? Hmm. It doesn't resonate. Check your moon, rising, your Venus sign readings. Those might resonate a little bit better. I'm available for personal readings as well. The information on that is in the description of this video in the about section of the channel. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. You guys are welcome here too. Okay, a couple more shuffles and we're going to throw down for Libra. Libra, why are you here? Page of Swords reversed. Someone's cut off contact. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Temperance in the reverse. There's either no energy flow going on, or it's a negative energy flow. Perhaps this person you might feel like is a little bit impatient. Maybe it's a Sagittarius you're dealing with. What do you think of them? The full reversed. You don't trust them any farther than you can throw them, do you? Or you think that they don't trust you. Take it however it resonates. What do you want from them? The tower. Oh, wow. Um, did someone perhaps make you a bit angry? I'm literally hearing you want their life to fall apart at the seams. Hmm, okay. Well, that's not positive, is it? How do they feel about you? Strength in the reverse. Um, they feel like you're a little bit draining, or perhaps that you're drained. Perhaps oppressive might be a Leo you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. As a matter of fact, I have Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Look at him. Aquarius on the board. That narrows it down for anybody. What do they think of you? Judgment reversed. Huh. They want you to change your mind about something. Perhaps it's the trust issue. What do they want from you? Ten of Cups. Oh. Well, they want all the best for you. Wow. There's this heaviness. This is weird. This is throwing off some very strange energy. Whoa. Okay. Um, what's the obstacle or blockage? Ace of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. I throw a clarifier on that. No start. No start in love. What needs to be done? Two of Swords reverse. Somebody needs to take a blindfold off. Somebody needs to make a difficult decision. 
What the French freaking toast? Oh my God, Libra, what is going on? All right, let's get some clarity. Wow. <clears throat> Nobody's talking. There's negative energy flow. You, you don't trust them. You just soon let the tower fall. And they're like, what? What did I do? Okay, well, let's, let's, let's get a little clarity here. I don't think I need to clarify anything over on Libra's side. I really don't. Because that's pretty cut and dry. Why is the strength reversed here? That's the first question. Why is the strength reversed here? Eight of Wands. You bolted? Like, pff, gone! Mm. I feel like something got a little bit draining and you bolted. They could also feel like you're a talker too, but you, you just, gone. Quick movement. Why is judgment reversed here? what the other person thinks of Libra. Why is judgment reversed here? The tower reversed in the chariot. You changed your mind about something. You bolted. You, you put distance. You're a distant person. You moved on, you moved forward. Why is the tower reversed here? Paraffin. Perhaps you changed your mind about rebuilding a tower elsewhere? Perhaps. Perhaps. Could have been a Taurus you were dealing with. Maybe they just think you need time. And in time you'll come back and rebuild the tower? I don't know. One more on that. I need a tire. I need a tire. Ace of Cups upright. They think that you have emotion for them. You just need you need space. You need time. Okay. Right on. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Um, quite obviously, if you feel like they're imbalanced and impatient and you don't trust them any farther than you can throw them and you just zoom watch the tower crash down around them, I, I don't think they're very in tune with what you're thinking or feeling at all, okay? They want you... Four of Swords reversed. They want all the best for you. They want you to be happy. Two minutes, I'll get you some milk, okay? They want all the best for you. They want you to be happy. Why the four swords reversed?
King of Wands reversed flies out. They want you to be non-confrontational. They don't want to fight. Three of Swords. This brings them great sadness, but they want all the happiness for you. They don't care what it does to them as long as you are happy. I don't know what they did to you to make you feel like this, but we're going to find out. Why is the tower here? Seven of Wands, they were potentially an extremely controlling person. One more. The Emperor comes out. Yeah. Um, on the lighter side if the whole just let their world fall apart isn't resonating with you at the very least you want them to change things need to suddenly and abruptly change for you to ever trust them again or for there ever be positive energy flowing between you Something needs to give. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed here for the obstacle? Thank you. Hangman reversed. Can't kick off because someone can't accept what's happened. Someone's emotionally stuck elsewhere, possibly. We went over this over here. star reversed comes out. Somebody needs to heal from something. I'm not going to beat that horse to death anymore. Why is the two of swords here for what needs to be done? Why is the two of swords reversed here for what needs to be done? Empress reversed. Someone needs to make the decision that this may just not grow into anything. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, two of wands in the upright. Someone needs to move forward. Somebody needs to let go. Move forward. Let it go. Let go of the fact that nobody's talking. Let go of the lack of trust. Let go of the negative energy. Just let it go. I don't know if it's Libra or the other person. Could be a little bit of both. Okay. Potential outcome. Knight of Pentacles. Somebody, yeah, um, speaking of apologies, the apologies never got brought up, but somebody might want to make the olive branch offer. Can I get a clarifier on the Knight of Pentacles, please? I don't know what I did to make you not trust me, but I'm sorry. Knight of Wands, in and out energy. In, out, up, down.
somebody may have been a player. Eight of Cups, yeah. This is an energy of acceptance as an outcome. Move forward, move on. All right, let's get some advice. Death reversed and the four of pentacles in the upright. Okay. Um, I'm not going to say forgive and forget. I'm not. Don't harbor the negative emotions because someone else refused to evolve. Don't harbor that. It, it wasn't your change to make. It just wasn't. You can't rely on other people for your happiness. You can't rely on other people to do what you want them to do. The moon reversed and the lovers reversed. You will figure out in time why this didn't work out. It's not for you to sort out right now. I'm looking at this as divine timing. The fog will eventually lift. Obviously, there's emotions here. Obviously, this person was a soulmate. Soulmates often come into our lives to teach us lessons. Just because you don't know what that lesson is right now and you can't make sense of it doesn't mean further down the road, the light bulb isn't going to come on. Say, oh, and you're not going to have a, a moment where, oh, that totally makes sense now. you got to give it time. you got to let the fog lift. Right now, you may just be in a, a fog of pissed off so thick you can't see the forest through the trees. Don't look for the forest right now. Just enjoy the walk. Five of Wands reversed and judgment in the upright. You need to make the judgment call to not fight this battle anymore. This is not your battle to fight. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. The devil and the seven of cups. Okay. Okay. Weigh your options. There is a sea full of fish. There is. This one probably wasn't your fish, Libra. And that's okay. It's okay. Avoid the ones that seem even a little bit toxic or obsessive or clingy or weird. And fire up your intuition because you will definitely know what's toxic and what's not. Okay? Okay? If a connection seems a little bit too powerful, there's probably a reason for it. So just... Don't obsess over the red flags, but don't ignore them either. Okay? Libra, this has been your reading for the first half of June. I love you guys to pieces. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. If you do subscribe and you want to know when I upload, hit the notification bell. Um, again, anyone interested in a personal reading, I do do that. I have a couple scheduled for tomorrow, but other than that, I am wide open. So shoot us an email if you're curious. We'll see what we can work out. And I will catch you guys on Friday for your week, for your weekend, top and bottom of the deck reading. Love you to bits. Catch you later.